Higher low that happens above the EMA. We'll see, three minutes. But we got it up. Try to pull it back under the EMA, couldn't. Went back above it, strong candle. See if this works out. Push up, push up, give us a chance, give us a chance, push up, push up. Give us a shot. Push up, give us a shot. Final candle. Push up. Push up. Push up. And that's the risk with this setup, that it could move sideways on you like it just did there. The better entry would have been here, had the low pushed up, higher low right here. This is the better entry, one, two, three. I'm not taking this entry no more. I like it, but it's riskier. It normally does this, you know. It can move, it can move sideways on you, and then it can take off. It's unfortunate. Hey, this Audi Swiss, we got the high, lower high, another lower high. This uptrend is kind of out of gas. It's made another effort to go higher and couldn't. Oh, we use this matching top. Sale signal, sale signal, sale signal, sale signal. Strong push down back to the EMA. Gap down. See if we come up. If we get another candle coming down, after this candle, we're going lower. All right, this is making a nice little candle. Pushed up, but didn't go hardly anywhere. Uh, Colt wanted to stay green for us. Want the next candle to come up a little bit, break higher, and go lower. Well, didn't give us the break, it's just gonna take off. So we got the high here, pushed up, lower high happening right now. Beautiful candle. Wait for the candle to close. We 
Yep. Honest, I want to go now. I wanted to go up here. Uh, I definitely might as well wait now. Yeah, I might get a better entry. Hello, push down, pull it up. Yep, getting a better entry. Oh, try to give me a better entry. And we are in. Three minutes expecting to test this low here for sure. And way lower down here. Low, pushed up, higher low, couldn't close, but EMA. Trapped everybody, came right back down. Three minutes. Pull back, pull back. Final candle. Push down. Hold on, 17 seconds. Hold on. The question is, do I go again? I think I will. So that we broke strong under the EMA. Use signal candle down. We'll see. Three set, three minutes. Still expecting to come down. Test these lows. Did test these lows. Feel like that was a mistake to enter there. We'll see. Three minutes. Push down, push down, push down. Give us a shot. That was on me. Shouldn't have took that. This had too much stem. There was too much stem to show me that there was buyers here. This was this was my mistake. I should have took that entry. It's a big range. Possibly. That's the top. That's the bottom. We got range. Oh, look at here. Breakout pullback entry. But most ranges, most breakouts fail. We're a long ways from the EMA. And this one ain't showing no momentum, so.
I wouldn't take that. And you want to break our pullback to happen completely above the top of the range. You don't want it to be struggling at the range. You want to see a clear breakout. What we're seeing is a failed breakout range fade entry. And I'm going to go. We're lower than the EMA. Not lower than EMA. We're, we're expecting the EMA to act as a magnet. But I was, I was trying to say we're lower than the uh, range. And we tried to break out. Came back, tried again, couldn't use Sigma Candle. We're expecting to come down to this EMA. Three minutes. Hoping that the EMA acts as a magnet. Final candle. Oh, that was a great call. Nearly a home run hitter, but it did exactly, well, yep, home run hitter. Did exactly what we expected. Uh, EMA acted as a magnet, came right down to it. Great win, great call. I would've went, but it was just too, too fast. Ha! <laughs> we got a long way down. This is a high, push down, lower high. Candle close, see if we can get a better entry. Decent. All right, we're looking at a high, a lower high, just a huge signal candle. We're just expecting that we're gonna start this downtrend to test the bottom of this range. Three minutes to go. Oh boy, that was, that's tough. 
That's tough as they come. I guess the only thing I can say is it was too far from the AMA to enter. But the setup was there, in my opinion. You know, I thought of hitting the double up button. It would have worked. If I'd have hit the double up button up here, like I thought about, it would have worked. This is the trade I've been waiting for. A trend up, trend break. New high. We got a matching top, push down under the MA. Need a high, lower high, headed down. We're going lower. Three minutes, test these lows here. Push down, push down. a shot push down push down push down push down give us a shot give us a shot don't feel that gap just shoot down shoot down shoot down push push down push down Push down, break lower, break, break out, break out. You can do it, you can break out. Break through it, break through it. Break through it. Break through it. Push down, push down, push down, you can do it. One more push, one more push. Broke even. Huge signal candle down. Expecting to break lower and come test these lows down here. Three minutes.
Pull it back, pull it back, pull it back. Come on, pull it back. Give us a shot. Give us a shot. Pull it down. Push down. Final candle. Final candle. Push down. Hey guys, I really need your help to get this YouTube channel going and pumping. So, hey, if you like the show, like, subscribe, and please share. You know what I'm saying? And I love you guys' comments. Keep them coming. I appreciate it. But, yeah, let's get the word out on uh, what's going on here. So, I really appreciate it. You know, again, like, share, comment, and uh, let a friend know that hey, it's a good show going on on YouTube here. Watch some live trades. All right. My name is JD. As always, I wish you guys increase on the Sutton. Bye-bye. We would like to thank you for tuning in to another Increase episode with JD. If you want to learn how to price action trade, please visit www.jdhider.com and you will find his brand new course, IOTS, Price Action Trading System. We thank you again and as always, we wish you increase on the sudden.